Visual hallucinations affect up to 75% of Parkinson's patients, causing them to see people and animals that aren't really there. Now there's new medication that targets these hallucinations through a different pathway in the brain. Sierra Searcy reports how the treatment is helping one patient who was diagnosed in his 40s. Adrian Morales was diagnosed with Parkinson's in his early 40s. It used to take me a good half hour um, before I could get out of bed uh, after I was awake to get everything settled so I kind of realized where I was at. Then the tremors would start. What people don't understand with Parkinson's, it's, uh, it, it affects a lot of you, not just people think, oh, it makes you shake. The shaking is the least of your problems. He struggled to follow conversations and most unsettling of all, when he drove to work, he started seeing things like a bobcat in the road. And the first couple times I slammed my brakes, you know, to not hit it and then got there and it wasn't there. According to the Parkinson's Foundation, up to 70% of patients suffer hallucinations. Hallucinations can be present during the day, at night, and can be very disruptive over the day-to-day -day of these patients. There is always this risk of losing the contact with reality. The doctor prescribed an atypical antipsychotic drug called Pimavansurin, which targets serotonin receptors. Activating these, um, these receptors can help tailor the um, psychosis or hyperactivity that happens in the brain. It's the first antipsychotic that works on the neurotransmitter serotonin and not the dopamine known to be the cause of Parkinson's. I'm Sierra Searcy reporting. As always, Parkinson's patients should always check with their doctors to see if the risks outweigh the benefits.